Hey everybody, this is Phoenix Down, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we teamed up with a swordsman named Frog, and infiltrated the secret lair of monsters within the cathedral. And now, behind this final door, is the mastermind behind the operation to kidnap Queen Lien, the evil monster Yakra. So let's go and bring him to justice for Queen and Country. Prepare yourself, Queen Lien. You, how did you get in here? Alright, the jig is up, Chancellor, if that is your real name. Frog! Majesty, stand back and allow us the honor. Be careful! Alright, the Queen is still alive, we made it just in time. What are the odds? You know, if it were up to me, I would have taken out the Queen, like, right off the bat, but maybe they had a use for her. Yeah, haha, <laughs> it's useless to fight. No one will leave here alive. Oh, really? What are you gonna do, old man? Stupid frog, it's time you jumped off this mortal coil. True form change! Wait, what? Um, okay, whoa, what the? Uh huh. Have you done something with your hair, fake Chancellor Man? He reverts back to Yakra, his true form. And it's time for our first boss battle of the game against Yakra. What I'm going to do is have. Chrono and Frog work together with their X-Strike dual tech. And on Luca's turn, she is going to use the Flame Toss. Yeah, when Yakra is in certain positions on the screen, when you attack him, he will do a counter attack that hits all party members. Which is basically uh, this attack. I guess the penalty is Pinball in this case. And he also likes to jump on people. Why not? Right, go for another X-Strike. Nicely done, all right. And we'll do another flame toss. After this turn, I'm probably gonna need to have Luca do some healing with an item. Yeah, definitely. He has one attack that can be uh, particularly nasty. You can see those bulges on his back there. That basically signifies he's about to do his uh, most powerful attack. So I'm going to have Luca. Okay, let's, uh, okay, it's a needle spin. I'm going to have Luca use a tonic on Chrono. He needs it the most. Cover 50 uh, HP. One more X strike. And I'm going to have Luca do the flame toss, and that should do the do the trick. Yeah, I think only one more hit should work to finish the job. And uh, apparently, he also coughs up really nasty hairballs. All right, let's set him on fire. And oh, he's still going, all right. I miscalculated, but an X-Strike should do the trick. Right, the one-two combo, and Yakra has been vanquished, all right. The evil monster is disappearing, dissolving into nothing, as all good bosses should do in JRPGs. That's right, fist pump, Chrono, we got 50 experience points, plenty of G, and Luca leveled up, all right. Nice. We are triumphant! We have rescued Queen Lien! You came to rescue me! Thank you, Frog! Apparently, Lien calls him Frog as well. The king, the king awaits! Let us return to the castle! I thank thee, Chrono and Luca! Yes, thank you so much! Please join us! Alright, the Queen's on her way out. But before we do that, let's raid some treasure chests. We got a mid Aether here, it's basically a more powerful version of a regular Aether. Recovers more MP than a normal Aether would, and in this chest... Oh, what the... Whew, thank you! That monster stuffed me in there! We know we have the real Chancellor. Oh, your highness, as you can see, I am undamaged. Yeah, if you tried to leave without doing that, he basically pops out of the chest himself. So it's like, wait, what about me? Let's return to the castle. And thankfully, we just transition right back to the castle. We don't have to go through the Guardia Forest again, which is nice. You had me worried, Lien. That no good, Yakra, impersonating me and kidnapping the queen. We must create a criminal justice system in this kingdom to do away with such feeds. Wait, you didn't have one before? What do you do with, like, your prisoners and stuff? Do you just outright execute them just on the field, or...? I failed to protect Queen Lien. I have disgraced thee. 
No, Frog, you're being too hard on yourself. Exactly. Frog! Frog, no. Don't, don't be like that. Come on, buddy. You were awesome. Okay, well, we can talk to everyone here. Okay, Chancellor says pretty much the same thing. Is that foreshadowing, I see? Maybe. Thank you, Chrono. But who was that girl we found in the canyon? Uh, yeah, about that. Your timing was perfect. Who knows what would have happened had you not saved me? Uh, you would have died and uh, your descendant would have ceased to exist. By the way, where is the girl who was mistaken for me? Oh yeah, I told- I forgot all about Princess Nadia. Got so caught up in fighting monsters and teaming up with frog people and... Where did Princess Nadia disappear? She may still be there. Okay, I guess we have to go back to the point where she uh, vanished from. Okay, yeah, she wasn't Leanne after all. She just happened to look just like her, just a little bit younger is all. Anyway, as I said before, make sure you don't open up those treasure chests because they uh, will basically uh, be empty in the future. But you're a di Wait, what? Okay, I guess you're supposed to talk to these people. Uh, you're supposed to be, uh, you're supposed to talk to them after Marley returns, I suppose. Let's go in here and, oh, there we go. And Marley returns! Alright, that is the best magic trick I've ever seen. David Copperfield, eat your heart out. Huh? What happened? Uh, you were torn apart from the fabric of space and time. Uh, but no big deal. We fixed it. Princess Nadia! Chrono! Yeah, just totally ignore the fact that Luca's here, too. It was awful! I can't recall at all. I was somewhere cold, dark, and lonely. Is that what it's like to die? Oh, and Luca's bowing. Welcome back, Princess Nadia. You risked your life to help me too? Princess Nadia? Uh-oh. Exactly, uh-oh. Ah, nuts. <laughs> oh, well. I guess you guys figured it out, huh? Sorry, Chrono, I didn't mean to deceive you. Well, you weren't that great of a liar anyway. The ums and the uhs kind of uh, gave it away. Something was up. Oh, sad music. I'm Princess Nadia, my father's King Guardia the 33rd. I really enjoyed being with you at the fair, but if you had known my identity... Chrono, you wouldn't have shown me the fair, shown me around the fair, right? You know what? Uh, you know... I would have shown her around. Oh, Chrono, that's why I like you. Aww, the princess likes us. We're barely into the game and we already have a princess for a girlfriend. The real queen's safe, right? So let's go home, Chrono. Yeah, I guess that's about all there is to it. But how do we get home? Like, Luca, you kind of, uh, you know, you got here, but you never really said anything about, about, uh, you know, how to get back. Wherever you're heading, be careful. Well, thank you. Yep, exactly. Oh, I'm trying to talk to the soldier guy. Yeah, it is uncanny, isn't it? Yeah, these people just, they just don't stop talking. But yeah, it's just so uncanny. Don't know what to make of it. How are we doing on HP and everything? Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to rest up uh, before we go. So, uh, let's talk to the royal family. You're the weird, the, the, you're the real Queen Leanne, huh? You really could be my twin. Well, you two better get along, or I'll be in big trouble. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Uh, Marley, you shouldn't, uh... Yeah, excuse me? Um, never mind, I guess it's time to go. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't act like her. Okay, yeah, if we can, uh, if we ever have a use for, uh... If we ever have a use for the king and queen of, uh, 600 AD, I guess, you know, we could call for a favor. Yeah, the... Yeah, that's, that's good. I'm glad we made things better around here. Frog, oh, you're still here. It was a fault of mine which endangered the queen. I shall depart for good. No, Frog, no, you're being too hard on yourself, man. Or Frog. Eek! It's like, what is this talking green thing? Indeed, your resemblance, resemblance to the queen is uncanny. Chrono, you have potential to be a good swordsman. I mean, I'm not already. I mean, we were X-striking the, 
the crap out of Yakra earlier. Oh, Luca? Froggy, you weren't such a bad guy either. Uh, well, poor Frog, I guess it isn't easy being green. Anyway, let's go and uh, go get something to eat real quick before we uh, head back through the Guardia Forest. I'm just going to skip through the forest this upcoming time. You know, some of the, you know, a lot of the people say different things, but we don't need to see absolutely every line of dialogue in the game. If you want to read the text, you know, you can play the game yourself. I mean, it's easy to come across. You can get it on the Wii Virtual Console. You can get it off the PSN, although I don't recommend that version because it's got a lot of lagging and slow time. You know, the battles have to load. But all right, let's gobble, snarf, and snap our way to full HP MP rec restoration. Alrighty, so let's head on over, well, to the other side of the forest. I'll meet you guys across from Guardia Forest. I'm going to fight the monsters just to get some uh, money and a little experience. Uh, Marley will probably learn her first tech along the way, and and uh, I'll pick up that shelter. So I'll meet you guys on the other side of Guardia Forest. Alright, we made it through Guardia Forest in one piece. Marley did learn her first tech, the Aura, which is basically a cure spell. You know, the... It's kind of the, the weakest cure spell of the game, basically, for her. And uh, in learning that, we also got her dual tech with Chrono, the Aura Whirl, which is basically a multi-target healing spell for the whole party. So that, that'll come in handy in later battles and whatnot. But anyway, in order to get back to the uh, back to the future, basically, we gotta return to Truce Canyon. Basically go back to the point where we... Uh, I'm just gonna ignore those guys, why not? And we just have to get back to the point where... Uh, the uh, gate dropped us off in the first place, the uh, dimensional portal. We have a new enemy here, the Pulley. These guys have a considerably more HP than the other enemies we fought around the, the canyon before. But nothing we can't handle. Blast them with the crossbow and Luko will finish the job with her, uh, with her dark gun when her turn arrives. All right, nicely played. And Chrono, you just you just take out the green imp. Those guys are still as pathetic as before. All righty. So now all we have to do is just walk back over to this clearing. Oh, hey, look at that. What's this thing here? How do we get home? Your Highness, or Princess, we... Please call me Marley. Just let me flail my arms around until you, until you insist on that. Well then, Marley, observe. Oh, what the? Wow, that's impressive. Luca, you're amazing. Ain't it the truth? <laughs> oh, um, I mean, Enough with the false modesty. You have a real gift. I would trade my royal ancestry for your genius in a heartbeat. Well, if you say so. Okay. Anyway, I call this thing a gate. It's a kind of portal that takes you to the same location in a different era. Gates are very unstable, so I use the principle behind my telepod device to create a gate key. Now we can use them as we please. Oh, wow. But why did this gate suddenly appear? Either the telepod had something to do with it, or something else made it. Okay, that's... subtle. This is getting pretty weird. Let's at least head back to our own time. Yeah, I guess that's... You know, we don't have enough information to go on, so we may as well just, uh... Just go on home and worry about it later. Alright, coming, Chrono? Alright, into the portal! Through the very, very trippy vortex into the future. And we're back in our home time, 1000 AD. Whew, we're back! Chrono, Luca, why don't you come home with me to the castle? I'd like you to come over for dinner. Sorry for putting you through all that, Marley. Are you joking? That's the most fun I've had in months. And I have some new friends, too. Chrono, be a gentleman and take her home. I've got some work to do. Ah, figures. See you soon, Luca! 
Will you escort me home, Chrono? Well, I've been volunteered yet again, so may as well do that. Let's take her home. If we wanted to, we could actually go back to uh, 600 AD now, but there's really no point in doing that. So what I'm going to do now, before taking Marley home, I'm actually going to go and beat up Gato a few times, rack up some silver points, and I'm going to show you guys the other two games over at the Ten of Horrors. So I will meet you guys after I get the silver points, I will meet you guys at the, the Ten of Horrors to do the second game. Alright, now that we have sufficiently beaten the silver points out of Gato, it's time to return to Norstein Beckler's lab to play the other two mini games. So now in order to play the second game we need to pay 40 silver points. This one is actually essential to the plot much later in the game. You know, don't worry about it so much now if you want to pass up on it. We can do it later. But if what you have to do is you have to mimic the actions of a character you're going to uh, see coming out. You have to use the left and the right trigger buttons on the Super Nintendo controller for, to move the arms. The Y button is for a laugh. And A is for surprise! I don't know why that needed an exclamation point, but okay. So I'm probably going to be a little quiet for this so I can focus, because it gets pretty quick paced once it gets going. And action! Alright, so far it's pretty simple. Alright, let's do some laughing. Alright, some more laughing. It's going to pick up the pace pretty soon. Alright. It's very, very funny about... I almost missed a signal on that laugh back there. Alright, there we go. Sorry for the lack of riveting commentary there. I really needed to be able to hear the tone when uh, they signal it. I almost missed, messed up once. But now there's going to be a clone of Chrono waiting at Chrono's house in his bedroom. You can basically move it to uh, fit into different types of poses. Alright, let's head inside again and do the final challenge. Alright, and uh, this one is a bit harder than the others. I had to do a, quite a few practice attempts just to make sure I could actually do it properly. But now we want to pay 80 silver points. So monsters are closing in. Throw your pack against them and push them back into the cage. Okay, we got these three uh, woolly creatures. And a hostage will be slowly lowered into the flames. To save the day, you must hit the blue light to raise the rope. Defeat all monsters before the hostage's goose is cooked. Okay. Yeah, this one can be pretty tough if you're not careful. Yeah, the button didn't press. Hit the light. And just go to town on these guys. The light. All right, here we go. So far, it's going not too bad. Whew, that was a close one. Nope. The buttons aren't registering for me. He's getting a little too close. I can just get one of them back there, it'll make things so much easier for me. Gotta save Marley. Not looking good for me. Yeah, if you get it, you know, it's unfortunate when you get to a bad start because then it becomes such an uphill struggle. And sometimes you don't even hear the chime. Okay, one down. All right, now things will get a little bit easier for me. All right, I have to hit the light. Okay, here we go. One more pack should do the trick. No, one more. All right, we did it. Whew. Well done. Take this cat. So yeah, for completing the 80 point challenge, you actually get a second cat for your house. Why don't we go home and take a look at our new prizes? And apparently news of the princess running away from home has uh, become common knowledge. Uh, we'll worry about that later. 
So uh, let's just go. Most of the people say the same thing as before. But let's go back to our house. No, oh, look, we got two kitties now. And mom's just all like, hello, Chrono. Like, okay. We're gonna go upstairs now and check out my other prize. We got a Chrono clone. You talk to it and you can mold it into all these different poses. So I'm just gonna have a... Uh, I guess he's dodging attacks or something there. He's just relaxing. I'll leave him in that, in that pose. But if you go over to this little container here, this is a cat food container. At dur during points of the game, I'm going to play the... Uh, the... Ten of horror mini games again because now that we have the main prizes each time you win you win cat food for your new extra cat and everything and uh, that can influence things that will come up later on like at the end of the game it's totally optional it really doesn't change anything plot wise it's something fun that they just kind of threw in there i'm gonna mess around with that a little bit in between episodes when uh, the plot allows me to and just like get some cat food and you'll start seeing what happens w as the game progresses but anyway guys, next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger, we're gonna brave the 1000 AD version of Guardia Forest and head over to Guardia Castle to take Princess Nadia, or rather Marley, back home. So this has been Phoenix Down, and I will see you guys next time.